Breaking news, guys. The Nintendo Switch 2 is a lint trap. One question and one question only. Explosives! So we're going to take a look at a Nintendo Switch 2 video that has just dropped. Uh, it's completely in Japanese, so I took the effort to go ahead and get some of it translated so i can let you guys know what they're talking about in the video and we'll jump right into it in a little bit if you guys want more uh news gaming news in general for nintendo switch 2 and everything gaming make sure to drop a like and a sub i would really really appreciate it but let's jump right into it so this was uploaded uh just recently and we're gonna go ahead and dissect it a little bit and see what's going on and what they did here if you guys saw my last video we talked about the leaked renders of the nintendo switch 2 uh, what they did is they took those descriptions of the renders and they 3d printed a nintendo switch 2 here is the video uh, in question and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it and dissect it i'll leave a link to uh, the video if you guys want to check it out so her uh, youtube name is xnz right here she's comparing the sizes of the two not big of an increase as i was thinking but whoa that was a dusty looking switch too 3d printed switch too that is uh, let me try to i want to dissect what she's looking at but i also want to figure out what's causing all this dust uh it, oh you know what because of the 3d printing stuff right is that what causes it to look all weird and dusty that is a lint trap man breaking news guys this is uh the nintendo switch 2 is a lint trap she's also showing us here that the Nintendo Switch 2 will be 8 inches and comparing it to a, a Steam Deck where the Steam Deck's screen size is 7.4 inches. So not too much of a difference there at all. In fact, I do believe that's the size of a PS Portal. Let me know in the comments uh, if that's right or not. I don't have one. All right. So here she's comparing the two Joy-Cons. And we notice right away that uh, the size difference, obviously, it's going to be easier to handle than the older Joy-Con uh everything looks uh slightly larger like the buttons and the capture button on the bottom there this the select button the joystick she's also showing the difference between the uh, trigger buttons on top that it's gonna be larger so guys this is exactly what we talked about uh on our last video and she's saying the same thing where you don't slide in the joy cons anymore rather that they'll snap from the sides and she's giving us a visual representation of what we talked about here she's showing us the top of the switch 2 and the, the c port that seems to be both on the bottom and on the top so i guess the bottom for the dock and also the top so that you can uh, connect it easier i don't know if about you guys but I, I didn't like the fact that we had to have the if we were charging it we, we had to use the c port on the bottom to charge it or uh, to play it while charging uh she's also going to show us that the the two internal fans they made events long enough to support that uh obviously the switch 2 is going to be more powerful than the switch and they had to include those two fans to uh accommodate that fact it's a 3d printed rendering this isn't the actual nintendo switch 2 i need to put that out there i think uh the last video i wasn't too uh, clear on that uh, but like i said it's it's based on renders that a lot of the online gaming community has have given credence to already she's also stating that the bezels will be a narrow the borders of the screen uh she also touched on the facts about the resolution a resolution being up to 1080p there's a lot of specs being talked about and the easiest way to put it um and i still say it's the easiest way to compare the two is that it's going to be on par with the steam deck it's going to have a 256 gigabyte memory which is a lot more than the uh, 32 that we got with the original switch uh and also the 64 uh, gigabytes that we get with the with the current switch oled it's going to come in two models an oled model and an lcd model uh, we shall see uh, if that comes into fruition that does sound you know it does kind of sound right the fact that um, right now we're in a market where lcd screens are, are still popular and, and people still use them especially for portable electronics um, but oled is uh it's creeping up there in popularity 
I can definitely see Nintendo offering two different versions and the more expensive one being the OLED, exactly what they did with the original Switch and the new Switch OLED. Let me know in the comments down below which screen would you guys prefer, a cheaper version with a, an LCD screen or would you prefer an OLED that's uh, more expensive? So now we're getting uh, seemingly some legitimate leaks uh, just because of the amount of people that are talking about it and the fact that uh, we are getting some interesting looking videos and and images that look pretty legit tons of information coming out but needless to say nintendo will uh, come out and unveil this sooner rather than later and i can't wait to be here beside you guys to uh, join in on that fun um let you guys know there's a lot of shorts incoming especially uh as i played through echoes of wisdom and also more nintendo switch news coming up i hope you guys are here with me as we uh experience the nintendo switch 2 together appreciate you guys so much and remember to stay safe stay awesome you're cool so the prototype that someone dumpster dived in in for or it looked like they went to nintendo headquarters and dove head first into their trash and dug out a prototype that's the pictures we were looking at in the other video what is up with these prototypes and these leaks uh, and these 3d printed switch 2's looking all gnarled up and and looks like straight out of uh but anyways i'm getting off topic here because it looks like they it's like they survived the apocalypse or something they dug it out from like 400 million years ago